Hey Periscopers, my name is Jacqueline Darna and I'm the CEO and medical inventor of the Nomo Nausea Band, the first and only natural way to stop nausea, vomiting, and headaches for adults, kids, and believe it, for dogs now too. So what can you do if your dog starts puking? Well, let's take a look at three different aspects or elements that can actually help. Number one, peppermint aromatherapy. Believe it or not, they have a better sense of smell than you do. And how it works is by an instant method, the fastest way to a dog's brain is actually through their nose. And not only that, but they have a heightened sense of smell, so you don't actually have to have them raise their paw per se. The next one is essential oil absorption. So absorption itself is really interesting because it's lick proof. They can actually lick it and it actually helps with digestion. So if you ever see your dog that's really suffering and eating grass, it's because of the fact that their stomach is actually upset. Eating grass is actually a form of helping them to ingest enzymes that they don't actually have. Acupressure. Believe it or not, dogs have acupressure points as well, just like humans. So where exactly would you place it and how do you make this cute guy... How do you make him from stop from puking, especially in the car, or even if he has to have surgery? Well, there's an acupressure point. It's called the P6 point on a human. Well, they actually have it. It's the same. It's located two inches above the actual wrist, and then it is about two inches above here in between their tendons. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to help show you how to place it. So this is the Nomonaja dog. It is the first and only natural way to stop dogs from having nausea, vomiting, and believe it or not, even anxiety. Their acupressure points are much um, closer to their radial artery than anything else. And I apologize for it moving. So what we're going to do is we're first going to find my dog Bachelor's acupressure point. So the way you do it is, and actually he's showing me his paw here, which is much better so you can see it. It's located about two inches above and then it's in between the two tendons. So all you do is you would take a band or something that has, whoa, sorry guys, or something that has a nodule on the end of it and you would apply it right there. Now what he's doing is he's actually smelling. The band itself, the Nomonaja dog band, actually has peppermint aromatherapy within it. So all you have to do is literally place the band on the dog's paw. It's very simple. You take it here, Put it onto their actual paw, two, two inches above, in between their two tendons. Notice, it's comfortable, easily accessible, and look how well you can actually see their tendons here. So anytime the dog doesn't feel good, or wants to start puking, or is going through a massive thunderstorm, you can actually feel their radial artery. Their radial artery is much closer to the acupressure point, so it just chills them out, makes them sit down, and actually stops them from throwing up. So I hope that's helped you guys. Again, my name is Jacqueline Darna. I am the CEO and medical inventor of the Nomonaja Band, and newly Nomonaja Dog. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys next week every Wellness Wednesday at 6 p.m. Come in with any questions. All right, guys, talk to you later.